the first question that we've got on the anonymous form is uh, when RTM to Atomic slash Komodo wallet in Android version? Um, as, far, as far as I understand it, it'll be on their next release. Um, they did put a tweet out um, to say it was happening and I think that might be at the end of this month, literally days away uh, for the integration. So we are for sure looking forward to that and we do have open channels as well with the Komodo team, so I know we can literally send them a message and ask them when it's going to be, if you like. Um, the next question is, uh, what about hardware wallets? Uh, any possibility in the near future? The target is for staking out the node's core wallet. Um, there are a couple of potential options uh uh, that we will start looking for once we get past uh, finishing the transaction decoupling uh, because that's one of the major things that we need to get out of the way in order for us to not have to worry about other code things in terms of the hardware wallets um, and also assets is a big thing as well we want the assets to be able to to be on hardware wallets um, so the most likely ones that we're going to be um, getting on are Tre um, Trezor and uh, Keystone as well that's another one uh, hope that answers your question bro whoever that was uh, the next question is um, I don't really understand what are assets other for than creating tokens and NFTs is that all it is good for can you please share a video about assets um, we are currently in the process uh, of making a video about testnet assets and I suppose it will apply to mainnet assets as well. Um, Thrift Store Hacker did make a video uh, like a week or so ago. Uh, it goes into um, pretty much the whole process of creating assets, minting assets and all that sort of stuff and sending assets. Uh, if you want to check that out on his channel, that's Thrift Store Hacker at YouTube. Um, uh, but but assets allows projects to build on Raptorium. Um, it allows uh, their communities to have a piece of the pie of their own projects. Um, it also allows ICOs. Um, it allows traceability in produce. Um, it, it also allows gaming integrations, such as uh, what CryptoSmith is doing over at um, BitKnives HQ. And, uh, you know, it could allow assets for special roles, um, uh, like on, on the Discord or social media or whatever. Um, you could have shared node traceability to make things easier for the shared node providers. Um, and also, one thing that I really want to get rolling with, uh, I'm trying to get in place as well, is actual gaming licenses representing an asset because um, as i said in previous streams um since everything went digital only on the consoles and things it's it's difficult to transfer across games and things like that um as they've done away with um, you know hard copies of things so i would like to see games licenses being part of assets where you can literally transfer them sell them to someone else as soon as you transfer that asset to someone else then you don't have access to the game anymore it's just as good as uh, you know buying and selling a hard copy um we know that currently nfts and well they seem they seem pretty boring really um and the, and the token world can can look a little repetitive as well um but we I know I want you to I urge you to see to try and see the bigger picture um, also something to note is that with assets as well you've got miners and smart nodes uh, which are going to be having their re rewards increasing um, by the minting fees and the, the asset creation fees and even if they use um, like futures assets and things like that as well where you can uh, time lock the the sending of NFTs and, and other things like that. Uh, and that will obviously increase on the on, on the miners and the smart nose side as well as more people will be using the system. 
And another thing to note as well um, that many people don't realize just yet is all this will be possible um, entirely in the palm of your hand on your mobile device. Most people think, oh, it's call wallet or whatever, but you know, we are building other options as well uh, to make it a lot more easier and to compete uh, with some of the other ways of transacting assets and tokens as seen in, in the, the wider space. Okay, the next question um, is, it feels like the meme coin and the NFT craze is dead. Are assets really a feature in demand? If not, do you think it will pick up later on? Um, I mean, there are so many potential use cases for assets. I mean, it's not even funny. It, it, it's endless. Um, we are currently in talks with a wallet service um, about publishing on-chain balance data uh, via assets and making it uh, recombinable um, as a real proof of reserves. So that's something quite interesting. Uh, this is opposed to a lot of the sketchy ones currently being offered uh, in the space. Uh, Piggy uh, is also flying out uh, to meet a couple of the projects uh, that were in initially interested in um, in the coming team-led uh, vendor platform in terms of traceability and manufacturing and all that kind of good stuff as well. Um, so yeah expect to hear a lot more from uh from that side of things moving forward as well i mean it, it, we want to we want to hit assets main net with a full ecosystem ready to go so this is why we're working hard to make sure that happens at main net it's all right releasing assets but if no one can use them on a worldwide stage then it's pointless so we're really working hard to make that happen for you all um the next question is what can you do with smart contracts smart contracts that you cannot do with assets um well with smart contracts you can make rules for how coins or assets tokens or whatever and other things behave uh, based on off-chain data that's one of the main differences and um uh, and, and 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 the way it behaves based on off-chain data will will basically allow automations and other things like that so that's one of the main things that smart contracts can can offer uh, there's obviously many other things as well but that's one of the main examples that i can think of right now the next question is peter dunworth currently has the largest price target for bitcoin at seven billion dollars i think i assume that's the overall market uh, one of the key reasons is he thinks time lock transactions are possible in Bitcoin. Uh, someone should tell him that only Raptorium has true time lock transactions protect, protected by network hash rate. Apparently, this is not true with Bitcoin. Well, someone should tell him, do it. Get on it. <laughs> Peter Dunworth, if you're watching, check Raptorium out. next question is uh, glad to see the new testnet and steady progress there is no liquidity in the markets right now but it will come back soon enough don't worry about it and continue the good work we are well positioned for when the downturn ends uh, thanks for your nice comments bro um, we've always worked hard uh, doesn't matter what the markets are doing and uh, and we believe that too we're definitely well positioned uh yeah so thanks thanks for that we do appreciate comments like that keeps us going um next question is any possible exodus wallet integration in the near future any contact with the raptorium team um yes absolutely they have agreed to list us which is which is nice uh, but they are notorious uh, for promising listings and then taking like like an age of man to deliver uh, which to be fair in their situation is pretty understandable really uh, they're a, they're an active and busy team and they're always trying to push boundaries in uh, in the way they're 
their wallets work and things like that but yeah we are going to be listed on there soon we just don't know when it's just when when they decide to do it the next question is when will there be a flux parallel asset on rtm uh not as far as the team is aware um i mean there may be one on the test net but the team has no uh, knowledge at the moment of any official integration of a flux parallel asset uh piggy's just messaged saying it'll be uh three minutes i think he uh, must have overslept or something uh there's a few questions about now put uh, so I think we'll get Piggy to answer those when he comes on. Uh, but for now, I'm going to go over to the um, the YouTube channel and see if there's any questions over there that I can answer. Any new US accessible exchanges being looked at with Coinex, Coinex not being available? Um, Coinex, uh, it, it, it shouldn't be too long until it's back up. They're, they've pretty much... Uh, patched up what the what the exploits were on evm chains uh and also uh it, it's looking good at the moment so that shouldn't be too long now until the wallets are reactivated in terms of other exchanges um we've got we've got a lot planned and we've got a lot already um with already with contracts and things signed um but it's just literally we need things to be right in terms of the market and we need to uh to get the right back in and to lay to be in a position where we can lay the markets properly so it's not literally a dead listing so we we have to make sure that um, many factors are going the right way in order to do that but yeah by all means many many exchanges and uh some really nice ones as well and we do have uh plans and goals to make that happen um hope that answers your questions sean and remy gidges uh foodweiser is asking what is coin joining the rtm core wallet uh coin join is basically mixing transactions uh so so it, it's like a it's like a privacy feature i would say it's not like full-on privacy but it just mixes it a little bit it's a little bit like um what was that what was that mixing thing sherm that no 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 it was a uh, it was on eth wasn't it or something like it's a little bit like that but but a dash version rtm version okay that's uh that's about the questions on the stream uh youtube channel um are, are there any questions for for us on the stream party chat at the discord <laughs> F, fe is saying uh sound was a little bad on my so it, my side did he say binance listing coming up <laughs> no no we haven't got we haven't uh got a binance listing coming up you know there's none of that but we've spoken to pretty much every other exchange other than binance we have spoken to binance at some of the events and things that we did attend and uh yeah so it is what it is oh yeah the guy asking in regards to coinex was referring to the fact that us can't use it anymore so yeah you're gonna have to use uh trade ogre for now if you want to use it in the us um or a vpn but we don't recommend that that is uh <laughs> there's some at your own risk yeah for sure thank you very much for tuning in and uh we will be back for another AMA uh, next next end of next month last Sunday of next month cheers guys <laughs>